This is a master control relay that's come in for servicing. It's uh, obviously not been used for a while and it's been sitting in someone's garage I think. Um, there's quite a few things that need to be done to this. The uh, factory relay which pulses the clocks is well a little bit sort of uh, long in the tooth and needs to be taken out and, and completely rebuilt. Uh, at least the mercury is still intact. Connections all need to be re-terminated. Coil needs to be checked under load to make sure that there's no um, chance of it burning out in the near future. An interesting factory modification here with the International Business Machine logo. Obviously this came from a service tech who decided to try and fix a problem where the relay was actually flying up too high and jamming. So they put this piece of metal here which has obviously been there a while, judging by this notch in it, which uh, sort of prevents this arm coming up too far. So we need to look into why that's been put in and what we can do to put it back to factory. Also, this rubber buffer here is well and truly gone. Um, other things that need to be looked into. This rectifier, well, I think we'll just bypass that, leave it there for authenticity and put a nice new bridge somewhere discreetly. Um, Look down here, someone's had a go at putting a new switch in for the advance and run. And they've butchered the backboard to make it fit because the uh, shank on the switch was too short. So I'll probably have to either source the correct switch or put some sort of a washer or something around there to hold that, hide the horrible hole and uh, paint it to match. Um, at least the fuse cases are still intact. These normally sort of disappear when a clock sort of decommissioned from a factory they uh, tend to take the fuses out so no one will use it and then these bits get lost um, this being an Australian delivered machine have Australian fuse holders which are probably very similar to the American ones um, but I haven't had an American one in my hand to, to play around with to see transformer is uh, 250 volts 24 volts secondary maybe a STC uh, we need to do something about the uh, wiring down here. This is all live, so that needs to be uh, insulated. Um, these three outputs here go out to your wind circuit on your master clock, A and C, um, and the B circuit would be connected if you have a pulse accumulator. Um, and they'd also go out to your uh, slave clocks around the building. The uh, one, two, three, four, and five connections are uh, for the switches from your master clock. And you've got a 24 volt tapping here if you want to run bell circuits. Um, this black background that it's all screwed to is actually a form of asbestos, I've been informed, which uh, you're not really meant to drill into or muck around with. So we've got to be really careful. Underneath, uh, you can see it's a bit of a mess. Uh, here's that really neat installation of a switch. Um, again, we'll need to, there's your AC in there and your earthing for the transformer. We'll need to go over this and just give it a bit of a clean up, make sure all the connections are good, um, and just tidy it up. We've also been asked to manufacture a new case for this, uh, as, it wants, as the owner wants to display it next to the clock, so we'll probably form up a wooden case with a glass window. Uh, typically these would be in a metal case, uh, very close to where the installation of the clock was. Sometimes there'd be a remote. Um, quite often all the circuitry is actually built into the clock. Uh, again, it depends on the installation of the uh, um, clock and what the uh, owners wanted at the time. Um, but look, uh, I think what I'll do now is I'll start stripping it down and uh, if I come across any nasties I'll add them onto this video, otherwise uh, I'll make another video as we go.